Hi, I'm James from This Big Road Trip. We've been overlanding the Pan American Highway for the last three years in our truck camper, and we know that overlanding is much more than off-road trails and remote camp spots. So join us for a day in our lives as we overland the Pan American. We're currently camped out in an amazing hostel called Refugio La Roca in northern Colombia. It's perched in an idyllic location right on the edge of the Chicamocha Canyon. Previously when we came to La Mahara, we found an amazing camp spot a little bit further down the road that was right on the edge of the canyon. This time we've chosen to stay in the car park of the hostel itself. We often do this when they have great facilities. Here they've got showers, toilets, Wi-Fi, but they've also got an amazing restaurant and also a great bakery too. However, the main reason we're staying here is for the climbing and the convenient location means it's a lot easier dragging our climbing stuff up and down every day. As always, it doesn't really matter where we are. Because we're in our camper, we have a great base all the time, whether we're staying in a car park or a camp spot. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to a day in the life with this big road trip. What have we got on the cards for today? Well, every day starts as a run for us. First, priorities first, cup of tea. <laughs> tea and coffee. Run, uh, breakfast, then a few camper chores, and then we're off to the farmer's market to have lunch and buy a few bits, and then we'll come back, climb, work, dinner, bed. Beer. You forgot beer. Beer and bed. Beer and bed. Just in case there can be any doubt, one of the best ways to start your day is to feed raisins to a monkey. She was um, in a she was a baby in a tree, and a carpenter cut down the tree, and she fell out the tree, and he took her and put her on a lead. Um, and that's where she lived on a lead, but she was too boisterous to live on the lead, and so this hostel rescued her, and they're going to try and free her to live around the hostel. Well done, how was it? It was tough today. I'm exhausted from running and climbing over the last few days. But now it's my favorite time, breakfast. Breakfast, pancakes. Where are we going tomorrow on the run? Tomorrow, oh, we're gonna do a loop with a guy that's here climbing, that's been staying here for a few months, and big new loop around the edge of the canyon. Perfect, breakfast time. We're off to the farmer's market in Meta de los Santos to buy some nice fresh produce and to have a delicious Colombian lunch. So we've just come to the market, um, I think it's a farmer's market, but I'm not sure, at Mesa de los Santos. A whole ton of restaurants, different stores where you can buy different things. But the best thing, well at least the best thing for me, is this little strip of restaurants where you can get, um, what can you get? All sorts, basically anything that you can throw on a grill, that's what they're cooking. So you've got chicken, sausages, beef, pork, super tasty, fresh off the grill. So we're gonna pick one of these guys and uh, see what we end up with. Chorizos, soup, and uh, panela, is it? Apparently, lemonada. 
limonada, which is basically, uh, I don't know, they change it all the time, but it's, it's panela. And it's a uh, delicious, perfect, traditional Colombian meal. So this is definitely my happy place. Colombian coffee, about an 11 out of 10, I'd say. Amazing. So we've had lunch, had an amazing coffee over there at the coffee shop. You can't really go wrong with uh, Colombian coffee shops. They're all stellar. And now the endless wait for a bus. The problem is, that no traffic has been coming in this direction for I don't know how long now which makes me think that there's some either an accident or a landslide or something so we could be here for some time change your plan <laughs> Change of plan, we were going to get a bus and nothing turned up, so now we're in a, uh, they call them, what's this? A motor house, a motor raton. Motor raton, a motor mouse, basically it's a tuk tuk. heading up into our first climbing spot for the day which often ends up being the last climbing spot for the day because we're beginners and it takes us forever to do the first climb and uh, once we get set up we tend to um, practice the route over and over a little bit and get better at it and then uh, after we've done this one move on to the next one which one are we going for What did you get up to this afternoon <laughs> that was incredibly stupid? Well, we've been climbing. No, no, before that. Before that? No, not. If there was a joke, it would start, woman walks into a bar, barman says, why the massive lump on your eye? Or and the woman that... says, woman walks into a post in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> turn, turn slightly to the, that's it. A bit back, three quarters. There we go. Look at that eye, it's gonna be a right shiner. No drink involved either. No, no <laughs> drink involved, not even a cup of tea. No. Uh, Claire's going to attempt to uh, climb this one. I don't know what grade it is, but it's, let's call it higher grade than we're supposed to be climbing. Let's call it out of our reach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's call it out of our reach. The, uh, the lady who owns the hostel has come down with uh, Ginger, the English man, and they've um, basically climbed this already and put our ropes up all the way to the top but there's a little bit of a yeah it's a bit beyond our grade but the fact that we're tied in at the top should make it a lot easier so we'll give it a go and see what happens escalando get tied in
We just got back from a day's climbing at El Refugio. Amazing day, amazing place, stunning canyon to climb in. Uh, we had to cut it a little bit short because Claire was working at four. So we um, came back up the slope and I'm gonna now take you and show you Claire's office at the campsite. So there you have it, a day in the life of this big road trip. Hopefully we managed to impart the fact that, um, <laughs> there's a monkey bagging on the door. Uh, take two. So there you have it, a day in the life of this big road trip. Flora, stop banging. <laughs> ah, adventure, yeah, wherever we go in different forms. So there you have it, a day in the life of this big road trip. Hopefully we managed to impart that there's lots more fun things to do, lots of experiences and lots of adventure to be had. And it's not just about off-road driving and finding remote camp spots, although that is fun as well. And of course, the nimble vehicles are amazing vehicles to get out and do that in. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and then we'll answer those. And feel free to subscribe to our channel and look out for the next video.